Andrew is the master of change management. I have never seen anybody with the skills he has in change. He has taken probably some of the biggest challenges, or he has taken the biggest challenges of Autodesk and led those changes for the company. I think he's somebody who's key in Silicon Valley. He's leading the charge on many things. He's influencing Silicon Valley as well as the rest of the technology landscape with these ideas. He was the first one to build, actually from scratch, a product in the company that wasn't acquired that is worth multiple hundreds of millions of dollars. So Andrew is, um, I think he's, he's got really good values and those come across in how he approaches um, both how he works within the company and outside the company. I think it helps him in two ways. One, he can relate really well to our customers from you know having a lot of our customers are engineers, so he has kind of an instant connection there. And then the other is, I feel like it has a really great impact on his ability to problem solve. And you know, he's a really empathetic person, and he tries to understand, you know, where people are coming from, how their experiences might be different from his, and really be, you know, human about his interactions with people. In my experience, your um, undergraduate education is such a pivotal part of you becoming an adult and the person that you grow into that I think the experience that Andrew had at CSUN was probably pivotal towards him becoming the kind of leader that he is today. Andrew is a planner, um, I think, is a good way to describe him. Like he, He's able to see kind of how things are going to turn out and, you know, kind of construct a, a vision of where he wants things to go. And, um, and so, in hindsight, it's easy to see, well, if you take someone that's a smart rocket scientist who's really good at planning, that they could do something in a related field and you know rise to the very top, basically. He's been at Autodesk now over 20 years, and um, that's hard to do, uh, I guess, unless you are very successful. I think when he was hired at Autodesk, I don't, I don't think I was thinking, oh, well, he's going to be CEO someday. That, that, um, it makes sense in hindsight. Andrew is as original and as individual as anybody I know. He's, he's just a, a unique character. You know, Andrew's first kind of finding his legs in the world at large. I mean, he's grown up pretty quietly inside of Autodesk, but Autodesk, you know, is one of the major tech companies. And I'm thrilled to see Andrew getting, you know, a higher profile. And he's just starting to step out and I'm sure he will be very well known. One of the things that I particularly liked about him is that he wasn't trying to become CEO. Andrew is phenomenally smart. Um, he's phenomenally rigorous. I think he really knows how to solve problems. And I think people really look up to him and you know, he can set a direction and have people follow him. We're incredibly proud to have him as the CEO of Autodesk. And if you look at all of his accomplishments and what he's done with his life, he's got two daughters that he absolutely adores and he works with their schools. By the way, Andrew's also a big advocate of women in STEM and trying to make sure that young girls feel like they can get into the engineering and mathematical field, which is great. And I think he feels that as a father of two daughters. And I think that's a big change that we actually need in the technology world today. Andrew, I want to congratulate you on winning such a distinguished honor, the CSUN's Distinguished Alumni Award. That's an amazing accomplishment in your life. I think you've had an amazing journey and you've had an impact on so many people's lives, including and especially myself. So congratulations, you deserve it. Congratulations, Andrew. I'm so excited for you to be awarded the CSUN Distinguished Alumni Award. I'm so glad that your alma mater has seen in you everything that I have enjoyed in working with you for all these years. Congratulations, Andrew. I'm really proud of you for winning CSUN's Distinguished Alumni Award. Hi, Andrew. I want to congratulate you on winning the CSUN Distinguished Alumni Award. Very well deserved. Woo at your wedding, I, I said in my toast, um, here's to all of your plans succeeding, something like that. Um, and I think it's rare for someone to, to be able to come back many years later and, and say, updating their toast and say, here's to all of your plans having succeeded. So, um, but here's to all of your plans having succeeded and congratulations. <laughs>